Hey Seawolves fans, welcome back to Training Camp Insider, special edition with defensive coordinator Rob Knoll. Coach Knoll, always a pleasure to have yeah. you, sir. Thanks for How having me. How are you doing me. today? Doing great. Camp rolls on. You uh, are responsible for the defense, and you got a lot of good pieces to play with. How's the process been getting to know them over the last couple of weeks? I think it's been really good. Um, you know, each year it's a new team, even though we do have a lot of those familiar pieces coming back. Uh, we added some new guys way back in January, and I think them being able to be here for spring and summer has really paid off for us because, you know, we talked about this year, we wanted to be mid-season form by week one. And uh, I thought we played much better the back half of last year than we started. So we're really trying to make sure that by the time we kick off at Roadie, we're at that mid-season form that we felt we'd done pretty well at the end of the year. How much does it help when you hear your leaders saying that too. Talked with Tyler King, he mentioned that same phrase verbatim. Reggie DeMonch, same type of sentiments. How big is that having guys who have kind of stepped up and embraced that mentality? I think it's great. Uh, I think we've got a really good group of guys this year that are bought in. Um, they're trying to echo what we're emphasizing. They understand that we've invested time into thinking about how we're gonna take that next step as a program. And I think our leaders are doing a, a good job this year of really trying to step up, help guys be accountable and grow every day so that we can hit the goals we want to hit as a program. Coach, you mentioned some of the new additions. Transfer Portal has given you a couple of good ones up front. Taylor Ballesta comes in from LIU. Then Eric Black, former walk-on at UB, he comes in as a grad transfer. What have you seen from those guys? Uh, I've been really pleased with them uh, and all the guys we've added, to be honest. Uh, I think that it's been really helpful for uh, instilling some competition. I think that always helps growth is when guys don't feel comfortable or complacent. So they've done a good job of that. I think they're also, just like you talked about, DeMont or King, I think they're very good leaders. Uh, you know, they did a great job stepping in here as new guys, embracing it, getting to know the other guys, uh, but still being vocal when needed and, and further trying to push that culture we're trying to get on the defensive side of the ball and in the program here to be where we want to be. Those two that I mentioned are on the defensive line. Coach Collins, very familiar with it. You're obviously very familiar with it. What would you like to see from that position group in terms of getting some more penetration, getting to the quarterback as well this year? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, a goal we have every game is a 20% havoc percentage. And what that is, is one out of every five plays, we need to be creating what we call a havoc play on defense. Uh, SAC, TFL, PBU, um, forced fumble, takeaway, something like that. And honestly, when you have elite D-line play, you get much more of those. Uh, a great pass rush can help lead to an interception. Uh, hits on the quarterback, force balls to come out quicker that lead to PBUs. Uh, TFLs are directly impacted by them. So they, they kind of take on the lion's share of creating that havoc. Uh, I feel like we've got a group that's really trying to embrace that and be you know alpha wolves and playmakers. And I think through camp so far, they've done a good job. Linebacking core is really good. You bring back your top two tacklers in Tyler King and Reggie DeMonch. You've also got Carthel Flowers Lloyd, who was excellent in his first year at Rover last year. What do you expect out of that position? Uh, I think to continue to get a little better every day. You know, I think, you know, King was an All-American. Uh, Flowers had a really good breakout year. DeMonch has been playing football for a, a long time here at Stony Brook. I think they're trying to I guess get the doctorate level football this camp because they've been here so long. Um, you know, I think you see that. Uh, I really liked King. We had a seven on seven the other day, sticks his foot in the ground, gets in front of a pass, almost picks it off. Uh, so I feel good about those guys. And I think because they've done a good job of getting to where they are, it's really allowed us to help develop that next group of guys that I think are starting to step up. Uh, you know, it's an interesting thing because of COVID. You know, we've got fourth, fifth, and sixth year guys in our three deep right now. So it's it's almost harder than it's been other years at camp where you maybe have a top two. You know, we're trying to get that third group of guys because we think that they actually can help us win games in some way too. Let's talk secondary. Last year, you guys finished top five in the league against the pass, 58%, 20 touchdowns, six interceptions. What would you like to see out of that group to improve? Yeah, I think uh, our statistics went way up compared to we'd, where we'd been the past couple seasons, which I was really pleased to see. We'd made some changes schematically. We'd uh, done some things where we really tried to play more aggressively. So I was pleased that we improved, but I don't think we're, we were anywhere where we want to be. And I think we would all say that. Um, I think the biggest thing we got to do is get those red zone touchdowns down. That's probably the number one thing holding us back uh, right now is we gave up too many of those, too many easy ones at times. Uh, and, and we're working on that and, and we're getting ready to enter that kind of that 
situational football phase of, of camp where we really start to focus on the, the third downs and the red zones. And I really hope our guys can continue that aggressive, challenging alpha mentality to help put us in a little better position to be competitive in those scenarios. And, you know, obviously you always want to get more interceptions, but sometimes that's a little bit of how does the ball bounce your way. Right. So I think if we can get the touchdowns down, that'll put us in a good position and uh, the rest will kind of take care of itself. And I honestly think the guys are doing a good job of that with what I've seen in camp so far. Uh, just like we've talked about the other positions, it's, it's a very competitive situation right now, which is what you like. Uh, sometimes when you only have one guy that you feel confident in, even if he's a good player, it's not great for you as a football team. I think we've got guys that are really pushing to show why they should be a starter, why they should have a seat at the table right now. Randy Pringle is one of those guys who does have a seat I caught up with him the other day, and it sounds like he really had a nice offseason, improving his body. What does he bring to the table at safety for you? Well, I think he's done a really good job of growing, and we talk like a, a lot about that growth and investment. You know, uh, he had some some confidence issues, to be honest. I think at times he's always had that athletic ability, and seeing him get a couple plays, all of a sudden the floodgates open for him. He knew he could go out there and do it, and I think that's why you saw him. I think it was three interceptions down the stretch. He's uh, competitive in every scenario and I think it's because once he finally got that kind of play that shows yes I can do this it really helped him with that confidence and I think he's using that now to help inspire those other guys that aren't quite where he is right now that maybe haven't made that play to get that confidence he's trying to bring them along with him. Coach this defense has had a lot of buzz throughout camp from just the guys who are part of it or the guys who are going up against it. What do you think would be the most optimal version of it once we hit the field? When you're kind of in the in the film room talking with your staff, talking with Coach P, what's sort of the optimal, imaginative Stony Brook defense at its best this year? Well, I think, uh, you know, Coach P, he's, he's an old school guy and, and he loves to run the football and he loves to have great defense. So obviously that's, that's the goal. Uh, you know, after eight CAA games last year, I think we finished third in total yards and third in points and that's not good enough for where we want to be. We want to be the top defense in the conference. And uh, that's been a lot of this offseason talk is the goal isn't number three, the goal is to be the best. You know, the top, the two teams above us defensively made the playoffs. If we can um, take that next step, get over the red line, uh, be the alpha defense that dominates this conference, I think that we'll be where we want to be as a football team because we'll always have a chance to win. Can't wait for you guys to hit somebody on Thursday night, September 1 against Rhodey. Thank Coach you. Noel, appreciate the time. Thanks.